Good afternoon. We are here with the Oxford Downtown Diaries. How are you today, Kelly? Good. We are the dynamic duo. Yeah, we Kelly are. Westbrook, Kimberly Smith, and we're sitting across from each other, so we're trying something new. I think this might work for us. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm used to looking at you this way. I so know. it's yeah. it's a new it's a new look. Yeah. So I'm excited about our guest today. And yeah. like you say, I'm excited <laughs> every week. Every week. <laughs> Um, but Paul Bobalt is here without his other half. Should we call her your better half? That's good. Yeah. That's good. That, okay. That's an happy title. life, happy life. That's yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so excited to have you. And you're probably one of our newest businesses downtown. How long have you been downtown? Uh, we uh, ended up getting a storefront in Oxford of tw- or, uh, Oxford. October of 2023. October. So, okay. Six months. Awesome. So their business, Designs by Chance, um, we've been in there multiple times. You're mm-hmm. wearing a hat um, that I bought for my husband yeah. not too long ago. It looks great. So we're excited to have you downtown Thank and you. excited to learn more about your business today and your background. And um, I know Brooke couldn't be here, but you guys are wearing multiple hats. She's still working full time and you guys yep. are managing the store. So tell us a little bit about your background. So um, my personal background, I came from, uh, I worked in automotive, uh, ended up getting laid off in 2020. Um, really wanted to start my own business and work for myself. Um, I guess I kind of learned that the hard way, uh, wearing multiple different uh, hats and keeping the finances and products coming and running the machine. So um yeah, we got really fortunate with um, with Rod owning the building we have now and Melissa having to move out, and it, it worked out perfect. And um, we've had a lot more foot traffic now that the weather's nice, so uh, that's good. But um, people think we just do, um, like, engraving on, um, you know, metals and stuff. But, uh, you know, Kelly mentioned the hat patch. That's actually made in our machine. Um, we do glass. Uh, our most recent project was that neon sign with mm-hmm. LED strips, so that was a fun one. Um, so it's not just restricted to engraving. So if anybody has um, any projects they think we might be able to do, um, I encourage you to reach out because the chances are we could probably probably do it. And so you said you were in automotive, but what like what field were you? Oh, in? I worked in. Um, I have a finance degree, so I worked accounts payable for okay. most of the time. And then um, my last role with Chrysler was like a financial analyst liaison. I would make sure AP was able to pay their invoices, and I'd have to do uh, like checks with engineers and. All that fun stuff. Oh, my gosh. So let's yeah. talk about finance brain and creative brain I know, because like, you don't see that happen a lot. Was it a hobby that you had that you've had all this time or what got you into this? So um, Brooke, uh, actually, <laughs> it kept uh, she wanted a, a machine called the Glowforge. And I was like, yeah, they're like, you know, they were kind of pricey for what they could do. And then she found uh, our current manufacturer. And I was like, you know, having was having trouble finding like a, a a career rather, and I'm like, you know what, let's just let's just do it. And then you know the, uh, you know it arrives in our garage. It takes up half the garage, so I wasn't expecting something uh, that large. And uh, there's definitely uh, early frustrations with it. We we're you know asking for help, and a lot of it was uh, trial and error. But um, it, it, there was a point we wanted to create the thing back up and, and send it back right. and, and try something else. But uh, I'm glad we stuck with it. So yeah. were you crafty or is this a brand new venture for you? Um, I guess Brooke's more of the, the crafty one with her workshops and okay. all those events she puts on. Um, <clears throat> I liked, I enjoyed making things. I always liked um, personalized items, something that was made for you or a family member. Um, and then I realized I could start doing stuff with this machine and uh, here we are. I mean, I can, um, I mean, almost everything we do is personalized in some way, but I try to make some, you know, generic downtown Oxford merchandise to, sell as well yeah Yeah, that's awesome and so how did you guys get from in your garage to now storefront what was in between what was the process where were you selling things like that um we were pretty much just word of mouth on facebook um you know we'd have people drop stuff off at our porch a lot of it was um drinkware and things but we did some some wood projects and then um uh we were at the farmer's market last year and uh I think I think Melissa stopped by and we ended up just talking with her and how she needed a different uh, place, you know, for her line of work. And, you know, again, Brooke was like, oh, we could get a store tr- uh, storefront in downtown Oxford. We should consider it. And I was just like, oh, you know, we're kind of like, I don't know if we're ready to move out of the garage yet. And, um, you know, it proved and to look be at you now. <laughs> yeah, it proved, yeah. proved to be very, <laughs> Who very won that one, Paul? Well. <laughs> I, I have a, I have a losing track record yeah. so far. Um, oh, it's OK. Your but, husband uh, is fine. <laughs> 
Um, but I have to say that's Aww. so cool because you were one of two businesses mm-hmm. that has been a part of our vendors market that now has a storefront space. And when we originally put the vendors market together, um, four years, it'll be four years this mm-hmm. year. And we brought Kimberly on. That was always the dream, right? That yeah. we would have these vendors that would start to be successful at the vendors market and then want to have a space in mm-hmm. downtown. And so for us, you made some of our dreams, dreams come, come true, true. <laughs> yeah. um, because we were just so excited that a business had that type of success where they wanted to be a part of that community all the time. And you really do have just the best little setup and space in Oxford. I mean, I remember coming in for your ribbon cutting and was so impressed with all the different products that you guys were able to either, you know, cut out like what's on your hat or engrave or the woodworking. I just had no idea the amount that you guys could put forth. Yeah, the um yeah, the machine we have is, you know, extremely versatile, which helps. But I mean, if you wanted, uh, I guess we're in the process right now of finishing up some signs for a, a lake house. But, um, you know, you put your image on there, we can cut it out, paint it, you know, and, and seal it. And then you have a customized sign for your, for your building. Um, but the amount of stuff we can get through our wholesaler that are that are blank items is um, is, is crazy. I think it's probably up to 3,000 different items. Um, starting to get some more bulk, order, bulk, bulk, bulk orders in. <laughs> Um, so that's good. We just did a hundred hats for a, a contracting company in um, Rochester Hills. And then, you know, we have uh, some interest in, in some larger orders too. So it's not just, uh, you know, you don't have to just buy one or two if you're looking for, um, you know, events for a, a family trip or items for a family trip or an event or, you know, just your business for gifts. Um, you know, we, we can definitely help you out. What would you say is your biggest seller or top three sellers? Um, actually, right now it's been uh, hats and like the take home workshop kits you can take okay. home and, and paint, um, or you know just showing up for a workshop event. Um, so those have been um, really our bread and butter this year for sure. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. and I definitely want to come and take a workshop because yeah. we have been watching you guys online and everything that you're offering and Brooks offering, but. I think one of the coolest things was um, Scott Cree, who's was on our that. design yep. committee. Um, I know that they hosted their daughter's mm-hmm. 10th birthday there. And just to see how personalized those items were with, like, each girl's name on it. Yeah. That was so cool. So, like, tell us, what if somebody wants to host an event or a birthday there? What does that look like? So, um, for, like, a painting workshop, we can, you know, a lot of our files come off Etsy. So if there's something, like, like you and uh, your group of friends want to do, send us the file. We can cut it out um, for birthday parties um, unless they want something specific. Um, they get, like, a 12-inch wood round, and they make, like, a room sign. So each um, each girl or, you know, boy or whatever, they get their name cut out. So, you know, it's personalized to them. And then we have, uh, like, a bunch of uh, big bins of a bunch of other stuff they can you know, paint, decorate, they're signed for. Um, and, you know, in terms of the workshops, you can choose some products on the wall. Um, or, you know, I, I think every day Brooke's cutting out, like, more stuff. <laughs> you know, every other day I'm going to get plywood. Yeah. Um, so, uh, again, she's she's been adding new projects and stuff. So now that we kind of have some stock and different, you know, a lot of different um, items to choose from, you know, you can pick one of those. Or if you wanted something personalized, we can do that too. And that's really cool. What I remember from my visits in there, you have really great, cool, unique gifts. So you Mm -hmm. have like barware, you have tumblers. Didn't you do an order recently of like a large, uh, was it like a Yeti or a Stanley? Uh, I did, I think 15, yeah, 15 Stanleys for uh, Oxford Girls Wrestling. Yeah. Um, But yeah, people, you you can bring your stuff in to uh, get personalized um, or, you know, you can purchase from us. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And we've been trying to work together on signage. You know, we have these new community spaces, the Mm -hmm. patio, big O, big O, and then the courtyard space where we want to have signs made. So we've been working with you guys and are looking forward to some installation coming this spring. So it's neat to see what a wide variety you have from just little gifts like that to, I mean, these are downtown signs. Yeah. Yeah, our working bed is uh, 60 by 40, so, I mean, that's pretty significant space. Um, we do have a pass-through feature, which um, allows us, uh, with help of a camera, we actually push, you know, on, on the longer item, we can push it through the machine and it engraves it on spot. Um, but we haven't messed around with that yet, and I don't really want to move the machine again <laughs> to figure <laughs> it out, because um, then things come unaligned, and then um, 
back in I think February or January we had uh um I guess it's my fault for uh, lack of maintenance, but the machine machine scheduled maintenance for me, so that took four days to go through all the checks and uh balances and figure out why it wasn't cutting straight. So um some lessons learned, uh maintain your equipment. Um but you know that set us back four days, so we had to cancel a birthday party unfortunately. So that was really um uh, that wasn't a fun week, but um those learning things, though, those learning curves, I guess you would call them, I feel like they're always going to happen with new businesses and opening. I mean, we've talked to so many of our business owners that have gone through a lot, especially when they're just opening their doors. So it's bound to happen. It's not just you. Yeah. And then um, I guess, for example, you know, we can we can engrave leather stuff. So um, um, somebody reached out to get footballs engraved for coaches. And I told her, I was like, well, I haven't done one of these before. So I might have to sacrifice a few to figure out what makes them come out nice. But yeah, there's, there's always that you're always going to have uh sacrifice material unless you've done it before, especially if something new comes in. But so were um, you able to do the leather footballs? Yep. Yeah. That's they were so, for, cool. Uh, That's so cool. They were the autograph balls. that's on the, um, I think the top half or one of the halves. Um, it was white. So all the kids could sign it and put a date. That's really and then on cool. the other side, it said like Oxford junior wild catch coach, whoever. Such That's a fun awesome. idea. So being new to the downtown, what have you learned? What would you, what advice would you give other businesses that are thinking about transitioning from a home-based business to a storefront? Um, I would say if the situation fits you and uh, your goals and your future goals, then do it absolutely because there's so much going on in downtown Oxford over the summer. Um, you know, we were at the farmer's market and we had, you know, constant people there. Um, every Thursday and then with the concerts uh, in the park and then other downtown events, the, the foot traffic from, um, you know, not only the residents but surrounding areas is, is quite substantial. So, um, you know, if you're marketing yourself right and you get people interested um, in your business, then I'd say go for it. And uh, I would say the, the workshops really catapulted us because, you know, we have just a big enough space where we can host 10 people and 10 of your friends too. And then, you know, like I mentioned, they're all, you, you can pick from a project we have cut out or you can submit your own idea. Yeah. So just quickly about the market, I've heard the market master is great to work with. She is. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> the, the man or uh, her sidekick. <laughs> Awesome. But just a plug for the market. What was your experience with the markets? I know you've mentioned it a couple of times. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we love having you in the storefront. So we're so happy to have you. We graduated. More. You've graduated. <laughs> yeah. But what was your experience like with the markets for people that are thinking of potentially, you know, historically we've had longer sessions. So we've had 13 weeks. We've had 10 weeks. This year it's a shorter commitment. It's only six weeks. So what would be your advice? What was your experience on you? in the market be working in the markets yeah so i think um had we done it differently if you know if knowing what we know now like this year we would have brought a bunch of like grab and go merchandise we were really promoting ourselves to be like personalized items mm -hmm. um but you know i a lot of i think we we're the only vendors there that offered like custom stuff but everybody you know whatever vegetables cookies um whatever somebody may bring um i would make sure you know you have grab and go items um, we did get a few custom orders and we, you know, had some, um, kickback on just showing up, but it helped us get our name out there and that's what we were really looking for. So, um, if you're new, these, uh, markets and events are really good to get your name out there, hand some business cards out. <clears throat> um, if you're doing more of the personalized stuff, maybe bring like a few showcase pieces with you and, um, see where it goes. But it was, uh, I'm glad we did it. We met a lot of people. Um, and then, you know, with the, with you guys and the DDA, um, you know, helping us and, you know, just other downtown businesses promoting us and doing events. Um, it's been, it's been really good. Yeah. The community yeah. really does work together and yeah. tries to promote each other. And that's of course what we want. Um, if somebody needs something personalized, what is your return time on that? So do they contact you, call you Facebook and then how is it a day? Can somebody walk in with something? What does it look like? Um, so right now, um, turn, Day turnaround stuff is rare. Um, it happened to work out for a customer yesterday. Um, Brooke took a half day, so I was able to go home and um, etch a glass for them. But um, typically, it depends on the size of your order, but I usually get stuff back to you within 10 days, if not sooner. Um, you know, there's some, uh, I mentioned we were working on some signs. Um, actually, one of them's for um, a new resident. Um, 
he uh, wanted uh, the Albanian eagle cut out and painted black and his names across it. So those um, take a little bit more time, and I only have one machine right now. But um, when the other two get in, um, they should be here hopefully by the end of the month. we got to go through a learning curve process with those. Um, but we'll be able to do more things in store. So if you have, uh, for example, four or five Yetis, it's something I could, you know, mostly, but de- depending on the lead, to, uh, you know, what else is going on, I probably get those done within a day, okay. day or two. That's awesome. So I realize you just moved in to downtown in October, but do you have plans? Like, what are your plans going forward? Um, or are you still just trying to get comfortable? I think, no, we really like where we're at. Um, like Kelly mentioned, it's a perfect space for what we do. Um, there's enough room in the back to put our two new machines in, so that'll help. Um, and then we're going to kind of clean, clean up some of the front area. Um, a lot of those display tables were uh, last-minute Facebook Marketplace uh, uh, refurnishes. But, um, yeah, we're getting new displays, things in, new products. Um, but uh, as of right now, we don't have any plans in leaving. Um, it's just a good area for um, – you know, for what's us, I can't imagine really um, expanding. Um, the only reason I think that would ever happen is if we wanted to move the machine out of our garage, but uh, that's a project in itself mm-hmm. and probably paying a professional mover to do that. But no, we're comfortable where we're at and um, want to see what this summer holds for us. Is um, So you guys have done so much already and you guys have – flexible hours right now or can people walk in on a daily basis what does that look like for you guys yeah so our hours right now are um, one to six and um, we might extend that over the summer but um, I I'm still working uh, in the golf course in the mornings so okay. I figured if I can at least put a half day in there and then open the store from one to six and I think um, our plan was to have uh, open paint each day I think we're going to try to do that um, where you can just, you know, there would be a table or two set up and you can come in and pick your project and the whole, um, I don't have a picture of it, but it's on our uh, our Facebook. Um, Brooke has every color under the sun you can choose from for painting and we have paint supplies there. So you can come in and spend an hour or two, paint your project and take it home. That would be awesome. I, especially us with kids over here. Mm-hmm. Um, what a great activity in the summertime, especially when your kids are bored at home where you just mm-hmm. need to change it up during the week. I think, too, um, something that you can walk in and that doesn't have to necessarily be scheduled. So those open open painting hours Mm -hmm. are huge. We used to have a business, and it's been quite a few years now, but um, the merge Mm -hmm. that was over there that was in, it was on the outside of downtown. But they used to do that, and I know we're wildly successful. So I think something like this is what we need in our community I'm always looking for things to do with my kids and my family. Mm-hmm. And now when you think about this and then you think about the arcade and going to lunch, I mean, you can really make a whole day in mm-hmm. Oxford. Yeah, for and sure. That's what we're trying to get to. Yeah. Um, and then with the um, the painting sessions, that's you were right. That's what we were thinking. You know, kids are home during the summer, you know, um, you know, the babysitter can bring them in. They can paint their projects. Rainy days, especially mm-hmm. not much to do. Um, but um, definitely in the in the winter months to get out of the house and come spend a few hours with us and create a project um, that, you know that's your own they're completely blank and you can either paint um, you know you can do your own or um, we've been labeling the uh, colors that were used on the example if you wanted to mimic that so that's awesome and something we didn't talk about this so I'm just gonna throw it out there um, but you know we do have wind down Wednesdays coming behind that's right. you guys in <laughs> yeah. Victoria so. You know, if we happen to have to paint while we're drinking wine back there, might that, that be, be okay? A, that might be a fun I mean, activity. open painting during that time. I'm just feeling like um, with my girlfriends, that might be a good time. Especially with a glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> Abstract that, art. <laughs> that's a good idea. We have, um, I know we have two six-foot tables and an eight-foot table, so. We'll set them up outside. Plenty of chairs and. Yeah. It's a good idea. Okay. Um, so, throwing it, it out there I to the community that. at this point. So, for people that maybe can't pop in between one and six how can they reach you um they can uh, call us um all our information's on our facebook page and a lot of people send dms or emails and okay. then um, we try to keep up on those daily and get back to you within a day or two and what is your address for those that maybe aren't familiar it's 14 south washington street right next to victoria's and the soon-to-be new brunch and breakfast place 
Uh, that's a great place to be located. Yeah, yes. wedged in between two yeah, restaurants. Yeah, I love that. And you're in the heart of downtown. I mean, you're really you're right there, which is amazing. Yeah, we um the um same place Andrea moved into uh pepper pepper butter treats yeah. um that was available at the same time, and I really you know, I think Brooke was leaning more towards that because of the garage door and us being able to move equipment gotcha. in there. But I was like. This spot's really hard to pass up on Main Street in mm-hmm. downtown with all the other stuff. You know, it might be whatever, a few hundred extra bucks a month, but it's at that point, the yeah. location, you know, pays for itself. So the walkability. And, and we, we, and they're in the DDA district. Yeah, that's I mean, true. let's call it out right now. That's, that's what it is. And we did. We invited Andrea to join us today. Unfortunately, yes. she couldn't make it because she was busy at the store. But Andrea was another business that started at home had some time with us at the markets and then in this past couple months has opened her own storefront on Glassby. Mm-hmm. So check her out. That's Pupper Butter Treats. Um, Andrea Cicero. And um, uh, yeah, our dogs love them. They're yeah. all they're all homemade. Yeah. And, and yeah. yeah, she she puts in the work. Um Dave's we haven't been in there yet with the dogs, but uh, we've been planning on stopping in and seeing her her yeah. store and it's awesome. It's a great place. So I have the final question for our guests, but is there anything else you want to ask before we launch the final question? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to mention one thing because you mentioned earlier, you know, um, Brooke is at a full-time job. Mm-hmm. You're working a job in the morning before you go to open the store. And then you guys are hosting classes on nights and weekends. And it's just so amazing to me when we talk with business owners, how hard you all yeah. work mm-hmm. and how amazing it is because you're working a job to live out your dream. That is another job. And yeah, I just, great. I get so proud when I talk with business owners like you, that you guys are just all in and it makes my heart so happy. Um, but it, I don't know if everybody realizes like how small business owners work so hard day in and day out. And then they're catching up on those DMS and the Facebook messages mm-hmm. at night. And um, I just a shout out to all of you guys that are doing Thank it. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's um yeah, it's not ideal right now, but we're trying to get it to where, you know, her and I can do this full time because the few days we've you know, she's been off and we've been able to actually do uh business stuff, it's made a huge difference. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, we're we're getting there. I think at the end of the summer it's gonna be uh we're gonna be pushing closer to our goal. But um like Kelly said, um, you know, I hadn't had much work uh, or much luck finding a career. I even got uh, my commercial appraiser's license, and I still can't find work. So, like Kelly said, uh, we, we've been all in. Um, it's just how uh, the cards have folded, I guess. So we're going to just keep it at it. It's funny how <laughs> the path kind of changes. Maybe not exactly the way you would have anticipated, but the end could be even better than you would expect. Yeah, it, right. Yeah, for sure. It's um, you know, it's hard not to get discouraged. Uh, you know, we. Like Kelly said, there's, you know, we're at the store one to six and people might think we go home and eat dinner and, and we do, but um, nine times out of 10, that machine's on in our yeah. garage doing something uh, at night, trying to get caught up on orders. But I think that's going to help a lot when you get the new machines in and, um, you know, we can do stuff on spot for people, kind of get a little bit of our life back. Is there anything that you want to add or share or highlight before the final question? Um. I guess uh, in terms of working with local community, we've been working with 42 Strong, and um, Joel's been interested in putting some mentorship events together with us. Um, You know, the kids can, you know, I can pre-cut like a wood sign or something. They want to make it for their parents, for themselves. Um, You know, we have a bunch of different team building things. So we're looking forward to um, scheduling some things with them this summer. Um, And uh, we're happy to be able to, you know, have a have a place where we can host you know mentorship events like that for uh, the kids in the community that's great and kudos to you guys for jumping in feet first not only with the business but also partnering with us partnering with 42 strong with the other businesses you know that's 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 impressive yeah i think um in a community like ours it's it's important to do that and um you know work with one another we're all in the you know, as a business owner, we're all in, you know, we had the same end goal. We want to survive and succeed. So um, it's always good to pass local work down and put the word out for other businesses in the area. Yeah. Okay. So the final question, which I'm nervous about at this point, I, because I know, been like, I've been like, been like five minutes and I'm like, what could it possibly be? Ooh, yeah. We did it last week, didn't we? I can't remember. What is the, what is your favorite thing about Oxford? What do you want to share with other people? We want to know like, why did you pick Oxford? You could have picked anywhere to open a business. What is it That's about a Oxford? One. Um, 
I think since we've, so it'll be, we moved up here five years ago. It'll be this October. And, um, you know, everybody knows, you know, everybody's like a neighbor of one another too, which helps. Um, I mean, but we have like everything we have lakes, um, you know, there's Boulder point, the downtown, um, shopping is great. It's a nice clean downtown area. Um, the amount of events people can participate in, um, whether you're a resident or, you know, live in a local, com- um, you know, a neighboring community, um, you know, nice parks. It's, it's a good spot to just raise a family. I mean, we can walk, uh, you know, where our subdivision is, we can, there's a cut through and we can be at the park at the library in five minutes. So, um, and there's multiple parks and not just mm-hmm. one big one. Um, you know, it's like everything you need is in Oxford, we, you know, we have local groceries and stuff. You don't have to drive too far to, to get anywhere. And, um, a lot of people help each other out. That's awesome. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah, we thank you guys. fully appreciate you coming and spending your afternoon with us. And you're, you're opening your store late today so that you could be here yes. and talk with yep. us. So thank you. No problem. You bet. We appreciate yeah, that. Thank you. We appreciate it. We um just put one more thing on his agenda for yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, you did. She's good at that. But yeah, so definitely come check out Designs by Chance um, if you have some time, if you haven't been there already. What else we got going on, Miss Kelly? Well, we just met with Lake Oregon we for did. our weekly meeting. And if you haven't heard of our Stronger Together partnership before, um, we do so many great things with Lake Oregon and their team. And even with all their transitions that they've been through with a new DDA director, it's been nice to get to know their new team mm-hmm. and continue the partnership. I'm probably most excited for what we just planned out in the last hour. We decided. The wind down Wednesdays? No. Oh. With Lake Orion. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, we know what's on Kimberly's mind. Yeah. I'm already in the summer okay. having my wine, yes. having doing my painting. Gotcha. What did we talk? What did we plan? Our oh, oh yeah. The, the ladies. The ladies. Ladies 80. What was it? Ladies? You had a really good tagline earlier. I don't know. Summer social. No, it was, it was something last year. ladies in the 80s or something. That's all it people need to know. I'm super pumped about that. Yes. So, yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff for the summer. And we also met with Thrive this morning. Yes, that was great. You know, trying to have more for our businesses um, resources wise. So between main street team and the TDA and everything that we're doing. I feel like our businesses really do have what they need to succeed. So what is Thrive for those that don't know? Yeah. So the Thrive team came in this morning. It was previously business forward and they're there as kind of a consulting group. So Mm -hmm. if people need to find those resources, they're great for that. Um, We chatted a little bit about some different trainings that they could bring in. So hoping to have them out to our community and be able to help our businesses even more. I know that the Genesis grant opportunity is coming out too through the Main Street team. So our businesses will be able to apply for that. I know um, that Paul's already ready to apply for that. So it's a great opportunity. So there's just so many things that, you know, we talk to our businesses about on a daily basis, I feel like that the public probably doesn't even know about, but so many things and ways that we help our businesses. Yeah. And just to clarify with the Thrive, so they provide resources. So for example, a new business, um, if you start adding employees, they can help with some consulting services for a few hours. They'll they'll cover the cost. And then it would be up to you to negotiate the charge, excuse me, the charges with that consultant, but things like accounting, which you won't need help with, <laughs> but like HR perhaps or marketing or you know, manufacturing, any of those things. Um, so that's really interesting is, is having that relationship. And also they provide workshops. So like a one time, I actually went to one last week, I think it last was. Week, yep. So it was social media, like kicking off kind of how to like power up your social media voice within for your business. So it's just really cool, free, mostly um, options that are available through the county. Um, You also had one of your committee meetings today, too. We did economic vitality, which definitely is one of my favorites because we get to talk about awesome businesses coming into the area. I was uh, meeting with Oxford Bike Shop yesterday behind their store and was able to meet the new boutique owner um, that's coming in next to them in May. So um, she'll be in next week and we'll be able to chat with her. I don't even know the name of her business yet. It was just a quick pop in and I gave her my information so we could set up time next week. 
but um, her product line is going to be very um, bohemian, kind of flowy material women's boutique. So very we're excited cool. about new businesses coming in. Yes. And the event center is now open and running. Is that correct? It is open. Did okay. you see his, did you end up seeing his post on Facebook when it was set up? I think I did, but I don't know if it's the one that you're talking about, but it okay. looked beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. They um, threw a quinceanera for over a hundred people. Oh, wow. And just all the colors and the lights hanging from the ceiling. It was so pretty. Oh, wow. I so, know. Yeah. I'm so excited. that's happening. How's the market going? The market. I know that you're committing people very quickly yeah, this year. Yeah, we are almost at capacity. So I have a bulk of the pos- or positions, the bulk of the spaces committed for and paid for. Okay. And then I have a list of people that have said, yes, I want to do this. And we're still kind of working out through um, dates and whatnot of those people are able to commit fully and make the payment. And then we have a wait list of people who That's are amazing. saying, we want to do this. And I'm saying, I will let you know if we have any spaces available. So. When we order our new business cards, I'm going to put Market Master <laughs> on your business card just to poke fun. That's great. No, I love but can this. you tease out, you brought on a couple of businesses, a couple of vendors for the market this year that are just very unique and different. Can you tease them out? Just a few of them. Yeah. Not the names, just oh, what, of course. what product. Yeah. So as of right now, and I, I apologize if I'm not hitting all of the cool ones, but um, all of them are cool in their own special way. We have a lot of repeats from last year, so that's exciting. But the ones that kind of come to mind for me, I know we're having a permanent jewelry which I thought was That's really fun. interesting and exciting. We have some very interesting food options this year. So we have like um, olive oils, infused olive oils. We have some chili oils. We have baklava. We have a lot of really cool freeze-dried products. And then we have our staples of the home goods. We have some bath and body natural products as well. So did I forget anything that you were thinking um, of? You know what? The infused honey is always one of my one family's too. favorites. Yeah. Um, So I really like that one, that that one's coming back this year. Yeah. But I'm just impressed with the people that are coming out and the people who are traveling. I know that we have a cookie company coming in, I believe, we from do. like 45 minutes away to be we at do. our market. Yes. So it's just really <laughs> neat to see that people are catching on to the market and mm-hmm. it's growing and it's expanding. And I think this year, although there is such a benefit of having a longer series, I do feel like having a shorter one is beneficial in getting newer people okay. to come. Because I think it's a little daunting to say every Commitment Thursday is hard. night. Yeah. yeah. Every, thir- every Thursday night for 13 weeks, you have to be here. And if you can't, figure it out. Right. Because we administratively, the first year I joined – we were allowing people to kind of pop in and pop out and administratively it's, 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 it's messy. Yeah. So, um, last year we enacted that, you know, it's a full series commitment and everyone seems to be okay with that. You know, they may miss a week here or a week there. Um, but, oh, I just remember we also are going to, I think have Cairo's pizza. Oh, nice. Pizza, okay. Sorry. A pizza. And, um, I just have to kick this out because we finally got all of our concerts released. We did. Which one are you looking most forward to? I think to? you know the answer to that. I just want to hear you say it. The Bon Jovi tribute band. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited though. <laughs> we went with tribute bands this we year did. and I think it's so unique and it's so fun. And because we had so many businesses and sponsors come alongside us this year, we were able yeah. to book some really awesome bands. I'm definitely, um, the Frank Sinatra tribute yes. band is probably what I'm most excited for. But I was going to say, I'm excited for all of them. Yes. Like, I don't want to not share the love because I do. I'm really excited. I mean, obviously, we picked them because we're excited about yeah. all of them. Um, but just growing up, Bon Jovi was, yeah. was my jam. So, um, But I'm also excited about Kids Night, which is a DJ. So it's going to be like a DJ party, like a dance party for families, for so kids, fun. for anyone who wants to come so that's going to be fun too because you can put in requests and it should be really I good feel time. like there's going to be a lot of Taylor Swift requests I, I would imagine so yeah I'm okay with but it we're going to do with it I think it's going to be fun because Funky Monkey and um, Red Piano are our sponsors that week and they're yeah. going to bring in kids activities and they will have the face painting of course yeah. and the hair tinsel and Cotton candy and popcorn and all the fun things to sugar up your children and send them home. <laughs> and make them dance, and then they can go home and That's go to right. sleep. We'll tire It'll them out, perfect. right? Yeah. I love it. But um, All right, so I think we're going to have Sick Pizza on the show next week. We're hoping so. So we're waiting on confirmation, but it'll be nice for Scott to be here and talk about the car shows that are mm-hmm. coming back 
third year, right? That I'm aware of. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah this is my year. third year, my third summer. So it's been here all three years, yep. but I'm excited about that. We have our spring cleanup again. I do have to plug it one more time because it's the plug 21st. Away. We need more. We yep. do. We need volunteers. So if you're not busy that day, um, one to four or any time that uh, you're available that day, we'll be doing just general cleanup, painting, mulching. We're staining the trolley. So staining the trolley. Yes, I always forget. We need more people. About that. But yeah. Awesome. Well, this was great. This was good. Thanks again, Paul. And thank you, Paul. We'll see you all next all week. All right. Bye, guys. Oh,